Hey guys, so I've taken you on the road with me today. Um, so, today's an interesting day. I'm having a fibro flare, and it's definitely not fun. Um, I just came back from a chiropractor, and I cried. <laughs> and usually the chiropractor is a pretty relaxing experience for me. It kind of puts everything back where it's supposed to be, but today my muscles and my nerves are just kind of on fire, so it was just kind of a painful process. Um, but I thought that since I'm in the middle of one, that I could start to kind of look at what I do during one to kind of help out you guys and maybe see if my coping techniques can help you in some way. So today, um, I came home after my chiropractor appointment. I talked to my sister and gave her a hug and I've always thought that hugs are a fairly magical thing and that um, they always make me feel a lot better so gave her a big hug and then uh, took her to work and so now I'm at the gas station to go and get my fluids and salt for my my NCS but um, I couldn't find a song I wanted to listen to and I finally found a song that for me is kind of like a feel-good song and really just pumps me up and makes me feel like I can do anything and I thought that that was important because I think that especially on your fibro days or even when you're having a bad NCS day that you need to have kind of a like a mantra a theme song going I can do this so I thought that I just kind of share that with you so if throughout the day I think of something that I think you guys should be in the know about, I'll let you know. So, just trying something different today. <sighs> the man at the gas station said I looked tired. Thank you so much, because I didn't know already. <sighs> Sad face. So, another friend of mine when I'm having a fiber flare is that I really like the Thermacare products, like the heated products. So here, I have the neck pain therapy one. I also have uh, back pain and I've also used their lidocaine ones, which are really nice. I usually don't keep them on the entire time because at some point they do get too hot for me, but they do kind of tone down the pain level. So a lot of times when I'm in class and I'm just dying because I'm sitting for too long, I'll stick uh, the heated pads or like the lidocaine patches and it really helps kind of be able to tolerate the whole day so that's another trick that I've noticed I do okay I now have it on and it is already pretty dang warm so I don't know how long I'll be able to keep it on um, and I have salted my drinks um, I like Arizona teas they're probably not very good for you but whatever everyone's got their thing anyways but I have it oh, just in a reusable cup uh, just because I get really tired of having trash in my car and then I use This which is, is kind of a neat invention. It's beer salt. It's lime beer salt, and it's just Salt that tastes like lime and so it's really travel size You can stick it in your purse. You can stick it in your car. You can stick one in your car and in your purse um, But I just stick them in whatever drinks I'm drinking and it's a lot more tolerable for me because I'm not a humongous fan of salt, so I don't like to salt the heck out of my food. So that's kind of how I do things. So now that I have my fluids and I have my heat, next is going to be going to school to study. A beautiful calm driveway. For any of you who wear makeup, for me, I don't wear a ton of makeup. I like the eyebrows, I like the eyeshadow and the occasional lip, but I don't ever do full face. But when I'm in the middle of a flare, I really, really don't feel like doing my makeup at all. And the more makeup you have on, the more makeup you have to take off at the end of the day when you probably don't have spoons to do that. So then you sleep in your makeup and then your face breaks out and then you're like, huh. Anyways. But usually with a fibro flare, I'll put a little bit of makeup on so I don't look so dead. So after my nice gas station man's comment, I put my eyebrows on or I just filled them in because they're sparse. 
which isn't bad at all, but it does tend to make me like a little bit more pale. And because I have hypothyroidism, the edges can get a little thin if my thyroid levels aren't quite right. And then I'll do mascara so my eyes look a little bit more awake and then a little bit of a tinted lip balm just so I don't look so pale and it brings a little bit of color to your face. So, now that we are at the school, it is time to make the trek to the library. This is the view from my beautiful campus. As you can see, we are on top of a mountain, which is, I think, a pretty cool place to be. So a fibro tip is that if you're going to school and you have a lot of books and it's heavy, I myself am a shoulder bag lady. I absolutely love them. However, it makes it to where the weight is unevenly distributed. So half of your body is overcompensating because there's a lot of weight on one side and not the other. And that can cause more fibro pain, more muscle pain, more nerve pain. So if you're going to school, I suggest making sure you have an honest to God backpack, or better yet, if you're into them, uh, get one of the rolly backpacks. Another thing is, is that if you have classes that have a lot of books and a lot of weight, think about maybe getting, you know, two, three backpacks, one backpack for each class. For me, I had two heavy science courses that had heavy books. I had to bring my computer in and it was just a lot of weight. So what I did was, is I had one backpack for one class and one backpack for the other class and it really saved my back. And so if that's an option for you, I definitely suggest it. Something else that I've noticed is that my back tends to hurt a lot, especially when I wear my backpack. And so I recently bought a new one, but this time I decided I'd get one of the ones, I don't know if you can see it, one of the ones with the waist belt. And I have found that it really, really kind of helps distribute the weight. So it's not all on my shoulders and a lot of the weight's on my hips. And I have found that my pain level has actually gone way down since I started using this backpack. So I thought that it might be good to tell you just in case you're a student. So, yeah, I'm really excited because I actually had energy to put makeup on today. So go me. A lot of people with dysautonomia or fibromyalgia or other chronic illness tend to be light sensitive. And today is a beautiful, beautiful sunny day. It's nice and cool, but not cold. It's just gorgeous. But I definitely recommend having sunglasses. And if you are light sensitive, don't be afraid to get different kinds just to play it up and make it fun. And I know that they've got a ton out there.